Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to integrate 6y minus x with respect to y. So we have two variables, even though it's a single integral, we have uh, an x and a y, so we just have to be a little bit uh, more careful. So because we're integrating with respect to y, we're going to treat the x as kind of like a constant. So when you integrate this piece here, we just integrate with the power rule. There's a 1, so that's going to be 6y squared over 2. And then minus, and this x is basically like a constant. So when you integrate it, you're just going to get x times y. Like if it was a 2, you'd get 2y. If it was a 3, you would get 3y. It's an x, so you just get xy. Then I'll, I'll write the little bracket symbol here because it is a definite integral. And we'll specify our limits of integration. So our lower limit is 0. So I'm going to emphasize that it's really y equals 0. And our upper limit is x, and again, it's y equals x. It's beneficial to, um, to specify the y, so it just makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on, I think. Before we do anything, um, let's clean this up. 2 goes into 6 three times, so this is equal to 3y squared minus xy. And we're going from y equals 0 to y equals x. All right, so now we're going to take the x and plug it in for the y. So this will be 3x squared minus x times x. Just replacing each of the y's with x using this condition here. And then minus parentheses. And now we're going to replace all of the y's with zeros. So 3, 0 squared minus x times 0. Well, all that's going to be 0. So this will be 3x squared. x times x is x squared. So minus x squared minus 0. There's really a 1 here. So 3x squared minus 1x squared is 2x squared. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.